Alright lads, how's it going? Just got three quick games for you today. I think it's in the 6.7 German lineup. Gonna be talking about some map design. You can see here we're on Sinai. No we're not, we're on El Alamein, sorry. Yeah. But uh we've pushed the A's we've pushed the A cap and we've won it pretty much. And we've pushed the B C cap, sorry. We've pushed the C cap, sorry, and we've got uh basically we've got the top and bottom spot uh bot Fucking hell, I'm having trouble with speech today. We've got A and C capture points. And we absolutely utterly missed that uh, M56 with about two miles over his head. But, uh, I'm basically editing maps or drawing on the maps just to try and bring a little bit of understanding to the people. I'm not an expert or not even good really at ground forces, but... Uh, as you can see, the three green circles are like the main fighting areas of the teams. And you can see the top, well the first diagonal up here. You can see to the north it's got lots of mountains that you can't get to. And then, and then on the bottom, on the uh, western side, you've got mountains as well. You can't really, there's no room for players to manoeuvre around you really. It means that you're... All the enemies and all the friendlies, they're all funneled into this, like, killing area. Which is good, because you don't really have to worry about being flanked by, like, a bullshit method. By someone driving all the way around. and You can basically fight like a game is intended, really. Not really like a real-life flank 50 miles around your enemy and come up behind them. Which I think for War Thunder is good. I think for this battle rating as well, 6.7, you don't really want... Um, especially for 6.7 German that don't really have any mobile vehicles. So the top diagonal, very good. Nice and close quarters. Predictable. That's what you want in a game like this. You don't want your enemies to be coming from anywhere. You want to know where you have to go. You want to hold a position. Now the bottom half, or the bottom diagonal, lots of wide open area, as well as massive sand dunes, which act as cover. So all around A, Basically, all A is a big circle with some roads coming out of it, and there's sand dunes all around it. Now, these sand dunes are massive. Actually, um, I don't know if they're realistically that massive, but they are. Like, you can barely go up them with a tank for that big, which is good because it prevents you being shot. Now, if you see here, all along the cliffs near B, enemies can shoot down into A or shoot at people trying to flank A. So it means you can, if you want to go to the top diagonal, you can get in nice and close. If you want to go, if you want to, go to A, you can get in nice and close. Then all around A, and this big corridor in between A and B, that's all nice and long range shooting. So you've got a bit of both as well. I think it's really good, this map. I usually go to A rather than the north bit, just because I like the, uh, I just like going to A. I never really enjoyed the top bit, because I think it's, bit more of a clusterfuck I like being a bit more spread out and uh, watching my enemies but we got a few kills in our JU2 uh, our U251 sorry and we're gonna get a few more kills in our JU28 we've got three ground kills three tanks destroyed and we're gonna go to the, our base and rearm but the second map here shows you where they're basically the fighting lines of each team. Now the two, the southern spawns for the blue and the red, basically just go straight to A. Then the northern spawns, you get to go to B or C, or you can go to the cliffs and shoot people going to A. So I think it's a pretty well balanced map. I don't think people have too many complaints about uh, El Alamein. It's nice and contained. And we're going to get a nice kill here on this Tempest. Blow him out of the sky with our... 1,800 kilogram bomb. But I like this map. Got no complaints about it really. I think it's got a bit for everyone. Long and short range. As well as lots of cover. So we're here on Fulda. Which is pretty much the opposite of this map. Now. El Alamein. I just want to say this. that I do actually like uh, Kursk. It's not Fulda is it? It's Kursk. Fucking hell. I do actually like Kursk. But where El Alamein had mountainous regions to the top and bottom, 
Kursk is diff well the opposite because it has one big mountain, well not a mountain, but a big hill in the middle basically. So if you hold B or the middle area, you can basically shoot down at C and A. Now A, there's a lot of concealment, there's lots of trees, lots of little bushes, there's a few tank wrecks you can use. So don't have too many complaints about A because it's kind of the long range sniping area. B is kind of the uh, B is kind of the close quarters area. Lots of the heavy tanks go straight to B. Uh, there's a bit. Like I have no problem with A and B spawns. No problem with them. It's just the C spawn. So you see from our next map, you can see that the A and B spawns pretty standard. Everyone goes. You spawn at the bottom, you go to A. You spawn at the top, you go to B. But then if you look at these arrows here near the C cap, basically anybody who has the B flag can't really cap you can't really capture C off them. The C flag, because it's got no cover whatsoever, it's just a massive basically a massive circle in the opener. Basically it just promotes camping. An enemy player that camps like in the, the top of B. There's no way you could capture C. No way. So I think you should have moved C to the well, the little island just above where it used to be. Make it like a foresty region. Add some fords or bridges to the river. You can make it so... you got protection from the bee hill. Like with trees, woods. Make it so like C is a little island where you have to f fight. Basically reduce camping because you'd have to go into C to actually um, fight people in C. Well, like I say, I'm not an expert. I don't know anything about game developing. I imagine that Guardian want to keep the map historically correct, but I don't think... Uh, I think C is useless in its current state. Because no one goes there, no one pushes there. It's pretty hard to actually capture it if you don't rush it at the beginning of the game. But the biggest... The biggest uh, problem a lot of people have... Probably with well, problem with maps is probably Italy, just because it's not it's not very good. Whenever we go onto this map, there's someone at least in there's always one in chat that just says like fuck this map or has some generally other negatives to say. You can see in the first map I've done, it's just a big green circle around the entire town really, because if you hold all three of these uh, bases. It's basically impossible for the enemy team to recapture them. Because if the, if your if your team basically sits on the outside of the city looking at the enemy spawn, you can basically just shoot them as they come from the spawn. There's hardly any cover. There's hardly any concealment to prevent it. And it's a very well defendable position, which I get is it's good. I mean, that's the point in the game, isn't it? He's supposed to defend a point, but... Pretty much impossible to uh, to recapture that. So one solution you could do is make the spawn points high, like in a mountain or rocky place, and make the town low, so you could shoot down into the town, or down into the outskirts of the town. You do have that in some parts of the town, but in other places it's higher. Or what I've thought of doing is this. Now you might look at this map and say, Jack, that's absolute fucking crock of shit. What? Who the fuck made that? And yeah, it is a bit shit, but I'm not an artist. I've got no artistic skill. But what I've done is I've basically flipped the spawn points. Instead of being on the east and the west, now on the north and the south. You'd have to add a bit more road in. And have to redo some of the bridges and shit. But you've got a lot of exits to the spawns on either side, so it's hard for you to spawn it. Also, you'd make the spot... Like, basically, the... The things I've added, you make them like rocky. I think there's a map in game called like the 59th Parallel, where either spawns are in really high up places and you have to drive down into the battlefield. I think it's called that. It's kind of the vibe I was going for. So basically, people can't spawn it. Well, people can't camp near A and shoot into your spawn. It's easy for you to shoot down into them. So it de incentivizes, de -incentivizes camping basically. And as you can see in this game now, I'm basically parked at A, which is the main objective of this game, and I'm shooting them from those spawn points, basically. 
Like, I don't think that's a great game design, to be honest. Like, I'm just, I'm just parked in the middle of... Oh, I'm basically parked about 20 metres from there. And I'm just shooting them as they spawn, or very near their spawn. And am I being irresponsible here? Should I let them? Should I not shoot at them out of some sort of... Uh, game honor or game like i don't know i don't know whether this is immoral i don't know why they design it so that i could just sit here because basically like i said at the beginning those enemies i'm f i'm engaging them from the sides my friendlies are engaging them head on then you see on the little map this one of my team is on their other flank as well so basically they can't fight us all at the same time now i don't know if that is that i don't know if that doesn't make it bad map design I don't know what would make it bad map design if that doesn't. But if you look at my map I made, you can see... I can't not have a game dev, I don't know if I'm just chatting shit. It'd be quite hard for you to get spawned because you'd all be coming out the same little place. But again... Yuri's in red and blue, the boxes, like I said, they make them about a bit mountainy. Make them higher up than the rest of the map. Basically, so you could shoot down at enemies waiting for you, rather than enemies shooting up. Kind of like the map, the 59th Power Rail, or 58th Power Rail. Power Rail. What do you have? And I'm going for a little bit of a Sinai Desert uh, feel. So you have the middle bit, A, B and C. This is where your heavy tanks would go and brawl it out. Then you'd have, basically, the sides be like a long-range sniping. Kind of like, yeah, like Sinai, where you have the C flag on Sinai, which is just open desert. A lot of people can beat, compete like that. Could um, I think that'd be quite cool. Cause what people, I think the biggest, pe the biggest issue people have is being killed from places, and you don't expect enemies to be. Like on this map, I spawn in on this map quite a lot, and just get shot in the back, because there's someone behind us, literally behind our spawn, not to the side of it, not to like the. Uh, yeah, not to the side of it, just completely behind us, or, like, pretty much behind us. Uh, I think that's the main issue people have. But if we look in game, I don't know if I'm spawn, I'm not really spawn killing, because I am. This is fair game, I think, at the minute. But we're going to come across a, um, I think it's a French AMX, a little white tank in a minute. It's going to be a good demonstration of what I've been talking about, raising the actual um, spawning area. So we come across him, and we sh he shoots us, he knocks out our gunner. So, as you can imagine, I've drove up here to get out of his guns. That means I can't shoot him, but he can't. Um, well, he can't shoot me, but he could shoot me. So, it's a good example. Like You could have the spawn areas, so they're higher up like this. Well, higher up like I was before I moved up. It means people wouldn't really be able to camp because the enemy. Because when you come out of your spawn, you'd be able to just shoot down at them. And then if you have multiple exits to your spawn with wide open areas at the bottom of those exits, the enemies waiting the they'll be open from various angles. So you could say if one enemy was pushing up one road or blocking off one road, you could go down another and then shoot them in the flank. It's just an idea. I'm not an ex I'm not a game developer. I'm barely qualified to fucking give my opinion and ground forces, to be honest. But it's just my two cents. Maybe you're, maybe you completely disagree. And that's fine. I'm, like I said, I've got no qualification, no, no uh, right to be given such opinions. They're the ones making all the money, but. This game's not been too bad. We're going to drive out in front of a tank destroyer here like a retard. Didn't even check to my right. And he's just there. I thought he was one of those horse-drawn carriages at first. I didn't even point the gun at him. But we've got eight kills, one assist. And a zone capture. It's not too bad. Especially seen as I am literally incompetent at ground forces. I'm a lot better pilot, but even then I'm not a great pilot. But I hope my... Uh, my really shitty MS Paint skills weren't too bad. 
hope you got a little bit of understanding of what I struggle with in maps, uh, with maps and how I think they could be improved. But hope you got something. Hope I didn't kill you with that shitty drawing. And I'll see you in the next video.